Uh, let's see. Do we want to go cleric and archer? <sighs> Just... I like the idea of swordsmen, but they're incredibly weak to ranged attacks in a way that I don't... I'm not very comfortable with. Let's see. No. <laughs> oh, this is going to be stupid. Let's give this a shot at the very least. Alright, I'm just going to body them with the healer. There we go. Because, <laughs> yeah, it can still do damage. It's just kind of rough. All right, there we go. Yeah, healer cast fist. Ram with body. Okay, so now I've got knives. I really want to go for a rogue build because I feel like that has some serious potential. But I think a lot of that really does kind of depend on whatever our uh, first couple perks are. I really dig this music. Uh, the mixture of chiptunes and uh, the mixture of chiptunes and rock is always a good feeling. It's very on Onomatopoeia. Okay. Yeah, if we could get a level three cleric, that would probably solve a lot of my problems. Uh, let's see. Another scout. I think I'll skip the rest of these. Stay far away. Okay, yeah, we're good. I really, I really want to get this uh, this scout build going. I've, I've tried it a couple of times now, and it's like, oh, it could be amazing. Just not quite. Ow. I mean, that's why we br bring the healer along, though. Honestly, an enchanter might not be a terrible idea for this build, too. Ooh. Ouch. It's okay. Alright, what do we got? Extra defense, hive, extra critter health. Um, I love the idea of hive, but let's go temporal chains just because there's no guarantee that's actually going to help me. Okay, and I'll just grab the archer just for the hell of it. We're, we're past the point. Okay, so we've got a level 2 cleric, and we've got a level 2 rogue. That should make this tremendously easier. Okay. There we go. Those guys are annoying, but since I have my own healing, it's not that big. It's not that big. Clobbering time. I can do it because healer. Kind of. Alright. Gold interest, hello. Alright, so let's sell the archer. I'm gonna have to drop below, but it's worth it. Because this gets us a lot closer to scout level. Ooh. Yeah, just getting up to level 2 doubles your effectiveness. Doesn't seem like the cleric does anything. Bonus. Maybe it attacks faster. Alright, let's see how this goes. Jester is not immediately my favorite. Why did I do that? Oh, it didn't actually do damage. Maybe.
Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna clobber him instead. The rangers are spooky. The rest of these guys I can kind of contend with pretty easily. Yeah, the Jester Knives are okay. I was expecting better. Yeah, I know at level 3 the Cleric gets the AoE heal. I was just curious if the uh, the Cleric got demonstrably better at level 2. Because level 3 is worth it. Level 2? I don't know, question mark. Okay, so next should be the boss, so we might want to load up here. I'm just going to load up like crazy. Okay. Got it. There we go. Horse push, spawning pool, or ballista X. Ballista X. I'm going rogues. Okay. Level, another level in that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to sell the swordsman. The yeah, boss looks really weak to ramming. I think everything is. It's just kind of a risk. You know, do you want to take that much damage? Okay. Well, I will safely say... We're getting there on the whole rogue build. And having Cleric is huge. Shit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Having Cleric is huge. I can't... I can't, uh... I can't pass that one up. In the slightest. Okay. We're getting there on... Rogue. Uh, it's reroll. Cannoneer. Ranger Nuker. Plague Doctor. Nuker. And a Highlander. I love the idea of the cannoneer. I think I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, Jester has been really nice at it, AoE. Yeah, I wish it was a little bit easier to see the effects. Cripes. Ow. The hell was that? Ugh. Oh, there goes all my DPS, so now I have to be extra scared. Damn it. This run's got legs. But yeah, those orange guys charge you and do shit tons of damage. Oh, but you can get them to charge each other. Well, shit. Alright. Time to beast mode. I just got to be very careful. Because, yeah, I can ram them into each other. What if crash damage cleric build? 
I wish there was a thing. But I mean, we started this run this way. We'll end this run this way, maybe. Look, where there's a will and a cleric, there's a way. I don't think I can heal again. Yeah. Or what are we looking at? Okay, I see a shooty dude. There we go. Green guy got rid of himself. We got this, actually. I just have to kill the shooter. I'm so glad that there's kind of an automatic... Uh, like... You can ram enemies into each other, and it actually does damage to them. Not only that, it does a lot of damage to them. Okay. Gotta get some HP back. Unfortunately, ramming them puts them in my path. Okay. Now, I apologize that my mouse is in the center of the screen. I'm just so used to, uh... Well, I'm so used to using my mouse for things that it's just kind of like, you know, I, I buy stuff in the shop and I'm like, all right, we're good. That should be good. You got clerics, son. How the hell did I not die? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So I could get another level of cursor. Ooh, for the barbarian. It's actually it's mildly t tempting, but I think I'm gonna try and find something a little bit better. Okay, so we now have a cursor and a swarmer, and still some money. Okay, let's sell the archer, grab a corruptor. So there's three critters if the corrector, uh, corruptor kills someone. Alright, this build just took a little bit of a... Uh... A left turn? But it's ended up in interesting places that I really like being. Because, yeah, I've got the healing, so I can kind of offset a lot of this damage. And my little minions... ...kind of go ham. Alright, there we go. So, rotating yourself to the left grants defense to all units, extra damage to all allies whenever an enchanter is hit. Taking damage also shares that across all enemies at 25% of its values. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds incredibly good. Alright, there's another level of that. Assassin. Piercing knife deals damage. That's good. Let's get rid of the wizard. Grab assassin. Reroll. Get another level of host. Reroll again. Outlaw. <sighs> do I want a piercing knife or do I want. <sighs> I don't actually know. Honestly, it's also kind of tempting to get rid of the jester. For another outlaw. But 
But I, I think I'm gonna save and try and get the last of the... Oh, that was a cleric! Fairy. Periodically heals one unit at random, grants extra attack speed, or priest. Bye, cleric. Hello, priest. I'm gonna kind of sandwich it in, in right in there. Alright. There we go. It might not be as good. It seems kind of slow. But it heals everybody. I wonder if the priest actually affects my little... My little dudes. Oh, my assassin got wrecked by knives. It's okay. Yeah, it's a very slow AoE heal. But it's probably worth it. Okay. Well, it's working. Yeah, Priest can heal to full at least, which is why I wanted to go with it. Alright, we now have a level 3 s scout. Tons of damage, chains a bunch. Barrager, no. Pyromancer, big no. Swor Swordsman, Flagellant, Cleric, no. Engineer. Could get another assassin. I might as well. Launcher, Squire, nope. Barbarian, Elementor, nope. Barrager! I mean, definitely seems like it would be worth going down that direction at some point. Can I... No. Okay, so max level is three. Okay, we now have a level... a higher level host. Okay. Unfortunately, we lose a little bit of interest for this, but I think I'm fine. Okay. So far, so good. Get more of those up in here. Boy. This run's got legs. All it took was just ramming enemies with a... with a cleric a bunch. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that's fine. A run with only healers could be fun. Could be. I'm really curious how that would roll. <sighs> the main question is, do I want to go f for the saboteur instead of the jester? I think so. Psykino pulls enemies together for a little while. Not the level one priest. Yeah, if I can get that up. Yeah, there was a priest. I'm sorry. I probably saw a cleric. Well, that was fast. One percent area size and damage per second. What does Unleash do? Let's try it. What does that do? I have no idea. Okay. I guess that's the next level of... Assassin. Keep pushing it. Alright. Yeah, do I get bigger?
I don't seem to be getting bigger. I'm mostly just confused more than anything else. Okay. Other thing is, I should probably take my rogue and move it to the back. Okay, it affects my AoEs. Cool. Stormweaver. Chain Lightning. Interesting. Alright, let's move this guy back. Assassin wants to be in the back. Saboteur can kind of be anywhere. Host should be in the front. Okay, I don't actually know if that's better. Well, we now have a higher level saboteur. Beastmaster! Is actually everything I wanted and more. Now I just have to figure out who do I get rid of. Honestly, we get rid of the saboteur. I know I just got it to level two, but this way we have a beast master. So level three rogue, fifteen percent chance to crit. Uh, but also swarmer. Grab the assassin, keep rolling. There's the next level of priest. Okay, divine intervention. Sort of round, pick three units at random. Grant them a buff that prevents something. Cool. Alright, let's just go instead of re-rolling. So yeah, it affects my AoEs. I really need some speed-ups here. Credit to the priest, though. Priest is good stuff. Oh, they've got their own. They've got their own little bugs. Rude. Okay. Just gotta stay kind of careful. The priest will keep me alive. I just have to stay out of damage. Priest is MVP. Oh, absolutely. There's no way I'd be able to do any of any of this without. Uh, let's see. Yeah, tragically, we're kind of capped out on what I can buy. So I just have to roll down, trying to hope to find what I'm looking for. Do I go more? Nah. All right. Yeah, we've got sustain. And we've got a lot of AoE, so I don't have... Or AoE. I've got a lot of perks that kind of let me just ignore... ...what I'm up against. There we go. The biggest issue, I think, will always just be the ranged guys. Because they can shell me from afar. The orange chargers might also be really spooky. Ooh. That got bad. Ow. That. Okay. That got spooky. Nope, we ain't done yet. Nope, we are done. Okay. Chance to create three secondary AoEs on AoE hit. Uh, let's see. I don't... None of these are that helpful. I guess I'll go Echo Barrage, but I'm not even sure if Echo Barrage is good. <sighs> okay, that's Host. 
Okay, no level two and faster. Yeah, I think I'll go for a, a lich build next time. Another assassin. All right. Let's see, reinforced would have buffed your ants. Would it have? I don't think I have any enchanters. Unless I misread that one. Ooh. Not my favorite place to be. These guys got tough. Yeah, I might be in trouble on this one. We'll see. I'm smaller, therefore more more maneuverable. I just gotta keep my distance and let the worms do the trick for me. Get him, worms. There we go. No, we got it. Got spooky. Okay. Another level of that. I'd love to do Conjurer next. Host is interesting, but I feel like Conjurer could actually be incredibly good. Conjurer or like a wizard build. I guess whatever lands in my plates. Oh, another level priest? Yeah. There we go. Keep our distance. There we go. Yeah, one thing I would say I wish this game had, especially for the item selection, is the ability to um, to re-roll that. I feel like that would be super helpful in terms of just like, man, none of these are useful to me. But alas, sorry, I'm a little focused. This game's uh, stinky hard. I don't have a whole lot of immediate control other than just avoiding. Uh, let's see. None of these. Didn't we just get that? Yeah, we're looking for Beastmaster. Beastmaster and Corruptor. I mean, we're looking for a lot, but Beastmaster and Corruptor are the main two. Yeah, 10 gold to reroll your perk choices would be a decent trade. Yeah, I agree. There we go. That was a gamble, but I figured it's probably worth it to go get smaller, delete the elite. There we go. Got it. Okay. Definitely Hive. Okay. So now we have Infester level 3, or... We have Assassin level 3, Infester level 2. Working on 3. None of these... Sage, Cleric... And yeah, can't get any more of those. Other priest. Honestly, the next thing I would potentially consider would just be... No. No, I don't think I'd switch away with from what I've got at this point. Okay. Should be okay. I think it's just the enemies are getting tougher here. Ooh! That assassin, though. Respectable. Okay. 
avoid the worms are present. They're ripping them to shreds. Okay, I do not know what yellow does. Oh, it's a warrior type, probably. It's just extra tough. Okay. The yeah, oranges are still spooky. Their range, they do a ton of damage. Here's what I'm gonna do. And maybe going Jester would have actually been a good idea. Yeah, a couple more priests and I'd be on, I'll be unstoppable. Well, there's the Beastmaster I was looking for. Uh, let's see, this is good enough. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Bad place to be. There we go, just keep distance. Let him hit the front parts. Ew. Gotta spread the damage. Go to six out of eight. Okay, so we lost our host, which is bad, but as long as we keep the priest and one of the spawner guys, I'll be good. There we go. Whew. Spooky. Yeah, I'd love to try and go for like a heavier healer build at some point. Considering there's only four healers in the game, I bet you could pair that with something real good. I really wish I could raise the amount I have because getting Jester back would actually be huge. Carver. Oh, right, right. Yeah, Con Conjurer Healer, I think, will be what I go for next. I feel like that would be an incredibly solid combo. Okay, one more priest, and then we we'll be then we become absurd. hate oranges. Yeah, we lost our host. Is rough. There we go. Keep distance. So we only lost one segment. The rest is coming out kind of fine. Yeah. yeah I can't really avoid the damage on an orange charge. My best hope is just to weather it as best as possible. There goes Priest. Shoot. Damn it. I like Host, but I think I want to try some other things for next time. That's okay. <laughs>